richer. A research firm says that for the first time, China has more billionaires than the United States. The Shanghai-based Harun Report says that China has 596 US dollar billionaires. That is 59 more than America. And the report reckons that the figure could very well be double that because of the difficulty in calculating wealth there. Well, you may not have come across it, but billionaires have their own publication. It is called the Billionaires Magazine. It bills itself as the world's most exclusive magazine. It's full of information about things like mega yachts, huge mansions, exclusive golf resorts, private jets, you know, the kind of things that you and I are interested in. It also has a section especially devoted to China. And I'm pleased to say that Lawrence Colbert is the CEO of The Billionaire's Magazine, and he joins us now. Thank you very much for coming in. It's just Beggar's belief, China is meant to be a communist country. So where are these people getting their money? Who are they? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting that, uh, you know, for a communist country, uh, that China has over a million millionaires. You know, you, you look back a decade ago, and, you know, there's only three billionaires. Now we have some 596 billionaires there. And I think China's government has been very effective at steering the economy really towards growth and the service industries. And I think that's where you're seeing a lot of the, the billionaires come from nowadays here. And it's certainly the, the guy at the top, Wang Jialin. He yes. is in the hotel industry, very much the service industry. That's right, yeah, absolutely. With a net worth of $34.4 billion, things are going very well for him. It's, it's staggering. The figures are absolutely staggering. What do these people spend their money on then? You know, I think the, a billionaire in China is not vastly different from billionaires you know throughout the rest of the world uh, some of them are you know into philanthropic uh, you know activity some of them are you know very generous uh, in terms of how they go about donating money um, they buy real estate uh, you know we're fortunate to work with an organization called uh, the luxury property show uh, based in China and um, you know that um, what's well, it's, it's an amazing event um, it's before people with a net worth of 30 million or more and they, they buy an awful lot of properties they buy hotels worldwide and all sorts of interesting items really. Are they flash with their cash? Do they like to shout about it or are they more discreet? I think they're a little bit more discreet nowadays. In the past you, you would see them uh, be particularly flash but I think nowadays uh, now that it's not so much new money um, you know a decade on they've learned to be a, a little bit more conservative. Now, the Billionaire magazine has a special section aimed at China. How does that compare, say, to the rest of the magazine? What do you have to focus on to grab their attention? With, with China, um, I think the, uh, the readership is, is a great deal more, I think, focused on continuing to grow. Um, it's not so much about um, lifestyle and, and how one can go out and, and spend their wealth. It's really about how they can continue to I think grow in terms of their wealth. So that's really what our focus on and it is on. And with the, uh, again, the luxury property show, it gives them an opportunity to invest worldwide. But the, the, key, the they do like luxury brands, don't they? They do. they do like their luxury brands. They do, they do, they do. Some of my colleagues at Rolls Royce um, tell me stories about how they struggle to, to keep the vehicles in the showroom, you know. Uh, you know, they were very effective at, at selling their cars. Uh, I don't think so much at, at selling them. The Chinese were very effective at buying them. Um, but I think it's an individual thing. You know, some of the Chinese billionaires, uh, the millennials um, in particular, uh, tend to be, um, I think, a little bit more conservative nowadays in, in terms of how they go about expressing their, their wealth, really. Would you say they have good taste? I think they do. <laughs> I think they do, absolutely. That's, that's good to know. And in, in, terms of, in terms of, say, how they compare to the Americans, of course, now having more billionaires than the Americans for the first time, mm. Americans do like to flash their cash, don't they? They do. They do. Absolutely. I'm an American. I'm a proud American as well. And, you know, it's a part of our culture. Um, you know, manifest destiny. I think if you, if you have it, flaunt it um, is our motto in many cases. Uh, but, yeah, with some 537 billionaires compared to China's 596, um, I don't know that uh, Americans have a, a huge amount to worry about in that regard. And from a lifestyle point of view, uh, we do very much so believe in, in living well. Brilliant. So. Lawrence, we love the fact that you've come, come in and spoken to us about this. Lawrence Colbert, the CEO of the Billionaires magazine. I look forward to my copy someday.